My name is Sean Cruz. Myself and Sean Gronick are joint instructors from 3rd Battalion, Paris Island, South Carolina. Today we will be giving you a period of instruction on the five basic rifle movements. The first movement I'll explain and Sean Gronick will demonstrate is port arms. The purpose of this movement is to bring the weapon to port arms. There are two counts to this movement. The commands for this movement are port arms. On the command of execution for the counter one, he will smartly grasp the barrel with the right hand near the compensator. The fingers will be joined and curled, wrapped around the barrel with the thumb along the inside portion. At the same time, without the loss of motion, he will bring the weapon diagonally across the front of his body so that his right hand is slightly to the left of his face. One. Notice, the barrel is forming an angle of 45 degrees between the shoulder and the neck. His right wrist is in front of the front side assembly. His forearm and his elbow is held down without strain and nearly touches the complete handguard. At the same time, he will grasp the handguard with the left hand. His fingers are joined and curled with the thumb wrapped around the inboard portion. The little finger is in line just above the slip ring. The magazine well is pointing to the left. The butt stock of the weapon is directly in front of the right hip. That is the count of one. <laughs> For the count of two, he will smartly release the grass of the barrel and grab the smaller stock. Two. Notice his right wrist and forearm are straight and parallel to the deck. His elbow is held down without strain and his upper arm is in line with the back. The weapon is also four inches from the body. This is the position of port arms. Sean Gronick will now demonstrate the movement of port arms in quick time cadence. Port arms, left, right. The next movement I will explain and Sergeant Cruz will demonstrate is order arms from port arms. The purpose of this movement is to bring the rifle to a position of order arms. There are three counts to this movement. For the count of one, he'll smartly release the grasp of the small of the stock and regress the barrel. One. Notice, his fingers are extended and joined, wrapped around the barrel. The thumb is on the inside portion. The right wrist is on the outboard portion of the front side assembly. His right arm is tucked down. His left hand is grasping the handguard just above the slip ring. His fingers are extended and joined and his thumb is tucked down. For the count of two, he will initially lower the rifle to the right side of his body. Two. Notice, he initially lowers the rifle with the left hand while changing the grasp of the barrel with the right hand from the into the V-grasp from the barrel. His right thumb is on the line with his trouser seam, and the buttstock of the rifle is approximately three inches off the deck. For the count of three, he will smartly lower the rifle to the deck and cut without loss of motion. Three, notice the heel of the weapon is on line with the toe of the right shoe. His thumb is along his trouser seam, and his left hand is at the position of attention. So our crews will now execute this movement in cadence. Horder, arms, left, right, left. Next movement I will explain and Sean Gronick will demonstrate is right shoulder arms from port arms. The purpose of this movement is to bring the weapon to the right shoulder. There are three counts to this movement. The commands for this movement are right shoulder arms. On the command of execution and for the count of one, he will smartly release the grasp of the right hand from the smaller stock and place it on the butt of the weapon. One. Notice, his forefinger and thumb are touching over the comb of the stock. His remaining three fingers are curled on the butt of the weapon 
and the heel of the weapon is visible between the forefinger and middle finger. His right hand is nearly extended. This terminates the count of one. On the command of execution and for the count of two, he will smartly release the grasp of the left hand from the handguard and guide the weapon to the right shoulder. His left hand will remain in contact with the weapon in order to assist with the movement. With the right hand, he will turn the weapon a quarter turn counterclockwise and place the magazine well into the hollow of the right shoulder. Two. Notice his fingers are extended and joined with the thumb along the hand. The forefinger is placed just below the charging handle. The left wrist and forearm are straight. The right wrist and forearm are straight and parallel to the deck. The elbow is held down without strain and the upper arm is in line with the back. This terminates the count of two. For the count of three, he will smartly, in the most direct manner, bring his left hand to his left side, assuming the position of attention. Three. This terminates the movement. So I'm going to now demonstrate the movement in quick time cadence. Right shoulder, arms left. Right, left. Next movement I will explain and Sergeant Gronick will demonstrate is left shoulder arms from port arms. The purpose of this movement is to bring the weapon to the left shoulder. There are two counts to this movement. The commands for this movement are left shoulder arms. On the command of execution and for the count of one, he will release the grasp of the left hand from the handguard. With the right hand, he will, rotate, he will carry the weapon to the left side, rotating the weapon a quarter turn counterclockwise, placing the magazine well into the hollow of the left shoulder. At the same time it is smartly driven, he will place the butt of the weapon into the left palm. One. Notice his forefinger and thumb are touching over the comb of the stock. His remaining three fingers are curled. The heel of the butt is visible between the forefinger and middle finger. His left wrist and forearm are straight and parallel to the deck. His elbow is held down without strain and his upper arm is in line with the back. This terminates the count of one. For the count of two, he will release the grasp of his right hand and assume the position of attention. Two. Sergeant so Gronick will now demonstrate this movement in quick time cadence. Left shoulder, arms left, right. The next movement I'll explain and Sergeant Cruz will demonstrate is inspection arms. The purpose for this movement is to inspect the rifle. There are seven counts to this movement. The commands for this movement are inspection arms. For the command of execution and the count of one, you release the grasp of the front side assembly and regress the barrel. You will raise and carry the rifle without loss of motion to the left side of your body where the barrel is bisecting the angle of the neck and left shoulder. One, notice at the same time and without loss of motion, the left hand smartly comes up and grasps the handguard. The fingers are extended and joined, wrapped around the handguard. The thumb is on the inboard portion. The right wrist is on the outboard portion of the front side assembly. The right fingers are extended and joined, wrapped around the barrel with the thumb tucked in. The weapon is four inches from the body. The right butt is directly in front. As you are, the butt of the weapon is directly in front of the right hip. For the count of two, you will release the grasp of the barrel, regrasping the small of the stock. Two. Notice his upper arm is in line with the back. His right forearm and wrist are straight and parallel to the deck. His fingers are grasping the small of the stock. This terminates the count of two.
for the count of three, release the grasp of the hand guards with the left hand re-grasping the pistol grip. Three. Notice his fingers are extended and joined, wrapped around the pistol grip. Also notice his left thumb is depressing on the bolt catch, the lower portion of the bolt catch, applying direct pressure. This terminates the count of three. For the count of four, you release the small of the stock and re-grasp the charging handle. The thumb and forefinger grasp around the charging handle, unlocking it, pulling it straight back to the rear. The elbows must remain tight to the body. Four. At the same time, Sergeant Cruz applied direct pressure to the bolt catch, locking the bolt to the rear. For the count of five, he will smartly push the charging handle back into its locked position and regress the small of the stock. Five. This terminates the count of five. For the count of six, he will rotate the rifle up, turning his head to the left so that the buttstock is in the center of his chest. Six. Notice the right forearm is touching the buttstock. His head turned to the left, his eyeballs inspecting the chamber. For the count of seven, he'll smartly rotate the weapon back down to the position of poured arms, release, releasing the grasp, as you were, releasing the grasp from the pistol grip, re-grasping the handguard. Seven. This terminates the movement inspection arms. Port arms is the only command you can receive from inspection arms. On the preparatory command port, you release the grasp of the handguard, smartly re-grasping the pistol grip. Your fingers will be wrapped around the pistol grip with your thumb wrapped around the inboard portion, touching the bolt catch. You'll form a U at the magazine well. At the same time, you'll close the inject port cover and drop your thumb down to the, down to the trigger. For the count of one, you will depress the trigger, pulling it, sending the bolt home, and regressing the hand guards. One. This terminates the movement. I will now have Sergeant Cruz execute this movement in cadence. Inspection. Arms. Left. Right. Left foot. Pull, left, look, port, port. Arms. Remember, most rifle movements are executed from the basic position, which is port arms. Executed from the basic position, which is poured arms. <laughs> 